got the true honor So let's get it, yeah, let's see what we can uncover All right. Persona 4, the golden, or it's golden in the title. I don't know what that's all about. I guess we'll find out. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do 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 Let me boost my microphone a little bit. Someone says I'm quiet. It's as high as it goes, so we'll have to overclock it. There we go, it's overclocked. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put the game back on and you guys can tell me if it's too loud or too quiet with the music with my voice, because this is a new game, we always have to do audio tests, let's see. So right now it's at seven. Um, that's probably too high. Let's see what happens. So I'm now talking over the music. You should be able to hear the music, but I should be much louder than it because I'm more important than the game. Do, 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 do. All right, way too loud. All right, let's turn down a bit. Okay, it's at minus 11. All right, let's do another test now. Here we go. I am talking over the game. Blah 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 blah. La 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 la. La 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 la. Tiny bit too loud still. Yeah, it's it's hitting yellow. Let's turn it down like by maybe like one and a half. All right. So minus twelve point six. All right. So that should be good now. All right. All right, so that's that. Um, if I sit up forward and I get like really excited about something, I might have to turn my microphone down, but so far it's okay. All right, cool. All right, so how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Persona 4. Uh, the voting is over, the voting is done, uh, and this is the first game that we're playing from the vote. The festivities have come to an end. The, the festival of bullshit's over. Can I see the scored? Uh, I have a list somewhere, but let me just read the 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 pin that we have. Um, is those those all the games? I thought there were there was a couple more than that. Do, do, do. All right, so uh, the following games that we're going to be playing, uh, it's not going to be in this order. This is alphabetical order. This is Fire, Bugs, Pin, and Dragon's Den. Uh, the winners of the vote that turned into this big, huge thing uh, that had an anime ending uh, are 13 Sentinels, Ace Combat 7, Al the Seminium Files, Deadly Premonition, Dujana, Fire Emblem Three Hooses, Gravity Rush, Half-Life 1 and 2, Hypnospace Outlaw, 
Killer 7, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, Metal Gear Solid 1 through 5, Necrodancer, Crypt of the, Near Replicant 1.2, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Persona 4 Golden, which is what we're playing today, Rabbi Ribby, Steen's Gate, The Void, Valhalla, Wander Song, and the Zero Escape series. I feel like there's one or two missing from there. Um, so some of these were ascended through through uh, mini contests that we had during the vote. Uh, if you don't know what happened during the vote, um, just watch the last stream that we did last week, and it, I explain everything. And you can go on Discord and you can see the ending that that happened um, and the final push that happened with the with the final couple hours of the um, of the vote. So some of these games are quite long. Uh, this list is probably going to last us at least a year. Uh, it's not the only thing we will play. We will play some other games in between, but we're going to primarily stick to the list over the next year of streaming. Um, I haven't got a like a route planned with them yet, so we're probably going to just switch between uh, weeb game and non-weeb game and and try to break up the longer ones. Like some of these are only like a stream or two. Um, Hypno Space Outlaw I think is two streams. Uh, I'd be surprised if we get more than a week out of Crypto the Necro Dancer. Um, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I think, is pretty short for a JRPG. Uh, Half-Life 1 and 2, pretty short. Uh, but then some of them are Fire Emblem Three Hooses, uh, so, and, and Persona 4. I think Persona 4 might be the longest one on this list, I'm not sure. Uh, all of the Zero Escape games is probably longer, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so we're starting with Persona 4. Uh, we are now doing Steins Gate uh, once a week on Saturday. Uh, so streams are gone from a four day four day a week schedule to five days a week. Uh, so starting this Saturday, uh, we are doing Steins Gate Sundays. So Steins Gate Sundays um, are every Saturday. Uh, we read Steins Gate for like three or four hours. So please look, please look forward to Steins Gate Sundays on Saturdays. Um, if that turns out to be too much streaming for me for whatever reason, um, I will drop the Tuesday stream. Um, so we'll stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Steins Gate Sundays on Saturdays. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I don't anticipate it should be too much, but we'll see how it goes. Um, that's assuming that it works. If it doesn't work, then we'll switch over. Um, you should all be thanking the fates that, um, Umi Neko was dodged for this. It looked like it was between, it was going to be between Umi Neko or Steins Gate. Um, and we have, uh, we have gone with Steen's Gate, which I think is the better timeline. So, ha, I get it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I think that's, uh, that's the, the better, um, result here. All right. So is the, is it going to play again? Cause I didn't really look at it cause I wasn't sure if there were spoilers in the, in the, in the opening. Um, is there, can I watch this? Is this safe? Hero. All right. Yosuke. Chi. Yukiko. Beautiful Makoto. Um, Edgy Ryuji. Brunette on. All right. Uh, Mishima plus Yusuke together. Oh, for fuck's sake. I gotta tell you, I am feeling some Persona vibes right now. becomes the antenna. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, that was, um, pretty stylish. That bodes well. Why is it the Golden Persona? The Golden Persona 4. Do, 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 do. You can connect to the internet to access it. No, I'm good. Do, do. Okay, so... Um, I want to back out of here. No, want to back out. No, want to back out. Want to back out. Want to back out. 
No, 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 no. Alright, we're restarting. We're restarting. I have Alt F4. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Okay, options, config. All right, so uh, is there anything that I want to be changing here? Um, e and Q. Uh, we can just use the gamepad, right? Okay, is there anything I want to be changing here? Um, auto position, anything like that? Anime subtitles, of course we want those on. Wait, what? Quick persona memory, program guide notification, network function. Uh, I won't turn that off. I don't think I want that on unless chat tells me otherwise. Uh, anything here, rendering scale, 200%, uh, animation quality. Um, I made sure that the game ran earlier and the network, it told me network is like other players can come and save you and I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that shit. Like, no. Um, audio, audio language English. Oh. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Um, let's turn voices up a little tiny little bit. And background music down a little bit because the music in this series sucks. All right. Display borderless. That looks okay. Uh, game pad. Okay, I think we're all right. Is this important? The network function? I don't think so. I think we can have it off, right? I don't think we need it. All right, cool. Is there anything anyone would like me to look at before I say thank you to two subs and we'll start it in the TV listings, which I have no idea what this is. Bizarre serial murders are rocking a foggy town. All right, daily personimations, original opening, invert the camera. I think we can probably fix that in the, in the middle of the game, right? How do I switch? Oh, with the D-pad. Is this it? All started here, the new opening. It all started here. All right. What's with the TVs? Oh, fuck me, Dad. This is anime. Alright. Excuse me? From the same people that brought you Persona 5 Strikers on PC, but not Persona 5, comes Persona 4 Golden. 
the second of the three Persona games. Persona 3 will come out, you know, later on in the year, and most people will have legitimately played these games backwards. Like, legit. LEGIT! Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna be starting in about five minutes. I'm gonna say quick thank yous to people that have subbed, and then we're just gonna- we're just gonna dive right into it, and we're gonna play. Um, can you all just decide collectively if I'm playing on normal or hard? I'm not playing on the hardest difficulty, but um, I'm kind of, if this game is like Persona 5, I'd rather just play it on normal. I don't enjoy these kinds of games, and um, I don't see any any merit in, in having to grind through it and shit. So um, I'd rather just play it on normal and not have to worry about that bullshit, but we'll see. If, if hard is better, then, then I will go on hard, if there's like extra game stuff or anything like that. Um, thank you, Chris... Chris Attell, I think, for the 813 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doc Danica, for the 713 sub. Booty 2 Fruity for the 613 sub. Alduin Feet Pick for the 813 sub. Obi 12323 for the 513 sub. Uh, Tilted Chara, nice, for the new sub. Welcome, Tilted Chara. The Tattooed Tattootin for the 513 sub. Happy Pie for the 2513 sub. Uh, Kringus 36 for the 213 sub. Uh, Kata Fitty. Kata Fitty. Kata, Kata Fiety, maybe, for the 14 with 3 sub. Uh, Phantom Mayit <laughs> for the 9 with 3 sub. Gluten Free Guy for the 5 with 3 sub. Uh, Tori Motosu for the new sub. Uh, welcome, welcome. Lou Liet for the 2 with 3 sub. K Roniverse for a 24 with 3 sub. Welcome to 2 Year Club K Roniverse. Joe's Retinas for the 6 with 3 sub. My Retinas. Uh, MET for the 10 with 3 sub. Uh, I am 999-1000 for the 20 month, 20 month 3 sub. Thank you very much. Uh, Ontos Fire for the 7 month 3 sub. Uh, Side Three for the 2 month 3 sub. Uh, Shin Megami Tenzi 5 for the 7 month 3 sub. Oh, it's your game. This is, this is, this is it, isn't it? Isn't this Shin Megami Tenzi 5? It's just, um, called Persona 4, uh, in the West. I think that's, I think that's how it works, right? I'm excited. Uh, Vanessa Alks for the 2 and 3 sub. Thank you very much. Uh, Ticken4922 for the 11 and 3 sub. Squirrel the Turtle 13 for the 3 and 3 sub. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you Baku Mag Magumin for the 9 and 3 sub. Smorgaboard for the 6 and 3 sub. Uh, Black Beast of Arg for the 17 and 3 sub. Uh, Markim for the 3 and 3 sub. Ingvar Fed for the 36 month 3 sub. Welcome to the 3 year club, Ingvar Fed. Holy shit. Uh, am, am username for the 9 month 3 sub. Depressed Luigi for the 6 month 3 sub. Uh, Mooncore Morgan for the new sub. Welcome, Mooncore Morgan. Interesting name. Smaffy for the 12 month 3 sub. Welcome to the 1 year club, Smaffy. Red Zef for the 25 month 3 sub. Dr. Legs. Oh, topical. Topical with the 36 month 3 sub. Thank you very much. Welcome to the 3 year club, Dr. Legs. Uh, Phoenix Furion, thank you for gifting out four gift subs to Cal Cali Row, uh, Dirk Shade, Granite Forty Six, and Lemmy Riles. I think. Thank you very much, Phoenix Furion. Uh, Rootless for the nineteen month three sub. Whale Ears for the six month three sub. Black Dolphin for the seventeen month three sub. Uh, P Piet J for the five month three sub. Vault Breaker for gifting a sub out to Akana Akanator Nine Eight Zero Horentus Gexcon One One Two. Um, Cor Core Ray Core Ray I think and Kiku twenty five thank you very much Fall Breaker one uh, thank you Kilsh eleven for the six month three sub Anton sixty nine nine for the twenty eight month twenty eight month three sub Zerston HV for gifting us sub to one hundred and counting really damn thank you so much Zerston HV uh, thank you Shoulder Gamer four twenty for the three month three month three sub Wonder Weeze for the sixty month three sub Karmtra Karmtra for the new sub, hopefully I'm saying that right. Welcome, Karm Truck. Uh, Doom Moose 43 for the new sub as well. AZ Not Jesus for the new sub too. Three new subs in a row. Welcome, you three. Thank you so much, uh, Karm Truck. Doom Moose 43 and AZ Not Jesus. Uh, Carl Man Man Manet. What? I, I, I want to say Charlemagne, but Charles Manet? I don't know. Uh, the six for the four and three sub. Thank you very much, Charl. Uh, Keegan loses for 23 with three sub. Gamtheus. For the 813 sub. Zestorn HV for gifting a sub to anime is dead. I wish. My Carologist for the 500 bits. Stay grudge for Carologist. Uh, Lieutenant Warhog for the new sub. Welcome, Lieutenant Warhog. Uh, Pink 
hard winder, I think. There's there's missing letters for the two month resub. I said spaceman for the three hundred bits. Uh, also one thousand for the ten month resub. Neptune Jr. for the new sub. Welcome Neptune Jr. Salt Salt Goodman, nice for the six month resub. Uh, Spaghetti Boy for the six month resub. The Chosen One, nice, 01 for the 8 month resub. Zorox for the 100 bits. Morgan Tremble for the new sub. Welcome, Morgan Tremble. The Builder for, for the 15 month resub. Two fives. Uh, Kali Doggo for uh, gifting a sub to Joe's Strange Dogs. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Kali Doggo. Uh, Apocalyptic Gymnastics for the 26 month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Critters of Mine for the 6 month resub. For Duke for the 4 month resub. Zenkari910 for the new sub. Welcome, Zenkari. Net Dimension Tripper for the 23 month resub. Uh, Core Ray Ray for gifting a sub to The Tangible Bean. Interesting name. Uh, Ona Nanashi for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Thank you also to Gian Luke Angel. Angeli. Interesting name to say there. Um, thank you very much to the 6 month resub. Uh, Velvet Thunder09 for the 6 month resub as well. Zestorian HE for gifting a sub to Weebs1. I think Weeb's uh, made out like bandits in this poll. Got 13 Sentinels coming up too. The 14th Sentinel, watch out for it. You know, yeah, yeah. God, I'm so happy Umineko didn't win. <laughs> uh, thank you, FSM777. I mean, it's probably fine, but look, that's so much reading. Thank you, MSM777 for the new sub. Welcome. Uh, the water guy for the 28 month resub. The Gersh water guy. Thank you also. Uh, don't. Dawn to the dawn. There we go. For the 3 month resub. Tier 2 as well. Damn. Thank you very much for the tier 2 resub. Dawn to the dawns. Thank you, Ironraft, for gifting out 16 subs to Big Money Mule, Zargi, Mickey DHS, Sean, Key to Truth, Royal Rovane, Monogon, Monogon, uh, Beamon, Lightbulb2082, Novatags, Tristanin, Trist Tristan Sin, there we go, got there eventually, Jack Mac Windows, MF Goose, uh, Lon Lottie Nias, Lottie Nias, and Burr Cubes. They're called those cubes. Thank you so much, Ryan Rath, and and welcome to um, most of you. I think are new subs in 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 that uh in that gift bomb. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I'm a ghost. All <laughs> former three sub stepped on Lego. Oh God, for the new sub. Yeah, that happens a lot around here now. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Looks Better Than The Witcher, for the 18-month resub. Thank you, Sophie, for the new sub. Welcome, Sophie. Thank you, Bokaron, for the 5-month resub. Thank you, Sink Sinklar, for the 200 bits. Father Gay Ben, for the new sub. Welcome, Father Gay Ben. Phoenix Furion, for getting out uh, some more subs. Four subs to me, Jesus, as 3 d uh, Lilivek, Lilivek, and Lena Gale. Thank you very much, Phoenix Furion. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, Data Dude, for the 25-month resub. Macho Groucho for the 100 bits. Uh, Starsworn Cygnus, I think, for the new sub. Welcome, Starsworn. Uh, Numi24 for the 7 month resub. Sneaking for the 6 month resub. The Pokemon. Uh, Mike Eel for the new sub. Welcome, Mike. Not Leon, seriously, for the 3 month resub. Ui23 for the new sub. Welcome, Ui23. Dangerously close to OU. Nana Forrester for the 5 month resub. Calm908 for the 36, 38 month resub. Akuro for the 3 month resub. Bike Chan Light Chan for the 16 months. 16 months of Bike Chan Light Chan. Holy shit. Lenios for the 5 month resub. Devil58 for the 35 month resub. Dasco144 for the 23 month resub. Dark Vey for the 2 month resub. Seti Frick for the 9 month resub. Zorn Horn for 17 months. Uh, RJ9I. 2001. Why was that so hard for the 2 month resub? Sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, Calf Hands for the 39 month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zorox, for another 100 bits. Uh, Sustre for gifting a sub to Teef. Teef with uh, extra Fs. Thank you, Sustre. Drew Carrying More for the 33 month resub. D2 Links for the 5 month resub. Saccharin XP for the 2 month resub. Name 5 Cereals. What? For the new sub? I don't think I could. Maybe. I don't know. I'm on the spot now. Thank you very much for, for the new sub name five of cereals. Iron Raff for gifting another sub out to Frozen Fool. Not sure if topical for Persona. We'll find out. Kiwi Kurt for the 4 and 3 sub. Scor Scorpieri. Scorpieri for the new sub. Welcome, Scorpieri. Uh, Paul Blanster for the 15 month resub. Sonic Boom 65 for the 2 month resub. Avant 132 for the 4 and 3 sub. Ben Beats Game for the 20 month resub. 
Uh, Zev Fair for the two month resub. Bouncy Bob for the 100 bits. Conscious Falls for the three month resub. Zip Zap the Electric Newt for the eight month resub. Walking Emoji, interesting for the new sub. Welcome, Walking Emoji. And the last ones on my list right now are Wekus on Fire for the 13 month resub. Thank you very much. Arandil for the three month resub. It's Not John for the 10 month resub. And the villain behind glasses for, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you very much, villain behind glasses. And uh, that was a lot. Thank you so much. Um, so we just came back from break. So uh, there's going to be more subs um, uh, than, than usual in, in like a bunch. So uh, uh, thank you very much for that. And uh, hopefully it's uh, tolerable to, to go through. I, I very much like to say thank you to everyone who, who subs and resubs. Uh, so before we get started, uh, I have two quick things to say. And that is to legitimately say that Persona 4 uh, came out in 2008. So for some context for the game we're about to start, uh, 2008 was the year of um, Fallout 3, Grand Theft Auto 4, Left 4 Dead the first one, Call of Duty World of War, Metal Gear Solid 4, wow, uh, the first Dead Space, Gears of War 2, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um spore wow what else uh star wars the force unleashed mirror's edge wow far cry 2 age of conan i played that that was shit uh wrath of the lich game came out in 2008 uh devil may cry 4 what a shit game that is also 2008 um so just so for some context you know this game is um is uh older but it's not super old you know like not bad not bad um, so that's just some context of, of what we're about to get into. Uh, and the other thing is that, um, if you are here because you're excited about the Persona 5 streams and now we're going to Persona 4, uh, let me just put a huge, uh, dampener on that and manage your expectations. Uh, there is no fucking way that this playthrough is going to be anywhere near as entertaining as the Persona 5 playthrough. There was such a, a magical confluence of stream coincidences and events that happened in the Persona 5 playthrough. Persona 5... Persona 4 might be a more entertaining game overall. I'm not sure. We'll, like, we'll find out together. Um, but the, the, the stories and like the interactions that happen between Yusuke and uh, also the Ass Eaters and, and, and Waffles that upon and, you know, get out of here, Pancakes Boy, this is a Waffle House. Um, there's no way that that's going to repeat, okay? There's just, there's just no fucking way. I'm not going to say it's going to be a bad time. I think we'll have a good time. But there, there's no fucking way. That, that we're going to be able to match the heights of the Persona 5 playthrough because because it was just a huge coincidence, all right? That's just, that's just how it is, all right? Um, anyway, I just wanted to say those two things. So 2008 game, I don't know when Golden came out though, uh, like the actual Golden, not this uh, fake PC release, but, um, but we'll see. All right. Uh, what did we What did we decide on? Normal. Thank you. Say trans rights, Joe, for the hundred bits. Do you like have Have I said it by saying that, or do you want me to say trans rights or human rights? Because trans rights are human rights. I can say that. Thank you. PSL, 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 PSL for the twenty four month three sub. Welcome to the two year club. PSL, 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 PSL. Thank you, uh, Sek Sekaith, for the new sub. Yeah. Thank you, Sekaith. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nat Guy one hundred nine for the hundred bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Navy Seal for the new sub. Welcome, Navy Seal. Thank you, Roll Dodge for the fourteen month three sub. And thank you, Claire plus Cat equals this username apparently. Thank you for actually new sub. Welcome, Claire plus Cat. Oh, and also thank you, Red is online. Welcome, Red is online. Three month three sub. Uh, I'm thinking normal. I'm kind of tempted to go hard, but not very hard for sure. Do you hate yourself or are you supremely self confident? I'm both. Uh, this difficulty requires the strength of hard nerves and no, I'm I'm good. I don't want to do very hard, but the scooter is getting bigger as we go down. Let's just go normal. Well, relax and have fun with the game. Here we go. Here we go. If 
I like this better than Persona 5, I have to watch all of One Piece. I made a deal. Be shit. Been up to since Persona 5. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How's the sound? Oh, it's the music! Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Alright, so, um, that was louder than the cinematic. Interesting. Alright. Damn, I can't believe they carried the music over from five back to four. Interesting. My name is Igor. <gasps> I am delighted to make your acquaintance. I'm so happy he's speaking English. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Pref prefer is a Persona 5 voice, to be honest, you know? <laughs> It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. I'm having so much fun. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, we just get to we just get to pick a name again. All right. Uh. I don't think we can be waffles that upon again, but we can be waffles. But we can't be that upon. All right. What's our last name? Chat upon. Chat upon seems to have it. All right, chat upon. Waffles chat upon. When we do royal, we're gonna be waffles rat upon. So now we're waffles chat upon. There we go. Waffles chat upon. Proceed. Do, 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 wrong order? What do you mean wrong order? Oh, for fuck's sake, why is- why do they do this? Why? Alright, we're chat upon. Chat upon waffles. Alright. Damn, I'm digging the Persona vibes in this music. Should we just put like a plus sign in just for fun? So it's full up. I know. I'm kind of feeling the plus sign. Waffles plus chat upon. What do you think? Is it a? Is it really? Is it that that a uh, pawn? That that uh, you're right. Yeah, it is an A. All right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. It's just repeatedly uh, entering and then correcting the name. Over and over and over again. Welcome to the Persona 4 stream. Alright. Chat upon waffles. With an explanation mark. With a dollar sign. Because you know... Because you know why. I see. 
Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Is there any ass eating in it? Can we share rooms with On? Do you believe in fortune telling? Am I Yusuke's dad? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? <laughs> the tower. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Okay, Misty. All right. In, in Cyberpunk, do you know how many times I went and got my tarot, tarot cards read and she just didn't even have any cards? She just put in, she had invisible cards that she was shuffling in her hand and she put down no cards as she did the fucking future. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The lobster. The moon oh, yeah. in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. I like mysteries. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah. I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. All right, nice to meet you, Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. All right, best girl so far. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. See you later, dude. A contender has arrived. All right, we're just getting this out of the way quick. All right, cool. Who the fuck are you, brunette? On? I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> what? Slow down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back now on to some juicy news: the Mayumi Yamano scandal. Accidents in the subway. <laughs> At first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already. But at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. I was expelled. <laughs> Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Voluntarily expelled. We yes. will arrive. The Yasukami Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. So we're young weeb girl, really? The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer. Ms. Should Maya we go soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Uh oh.
God. Get off the station one train early. Come on. Get off the station one train early. Wow, I'm tired. Get off the train one station early. Yaso Inaba? Afternoon. Alright. Are we in Maya's village? Where the fuck are we? Hey, oh god. Here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. What are we doing? Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Alright, thank you for that exposition. Nice to meet you. It's been a long time. Dot, 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 dot. Huh. Got a little motion sickness from the train, did you? This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Yeah, we're family, all right. Dot, 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 Hello. dot. Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Haven't said a word yet. Hey. Hey, unfriendly looking girl. You drop this. Doctor Legs? Thank you. It's not mine. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself uh, with Dojima's address. How many years is this based What's before wrong? Persona 5? Like, probably at least eight, right? You got in the car and headed for Dejima's house. In Aba Central Shopping District gas station. How's the sound, by the way? We still good? Do I need to speak Hi. a little bit? Welcome to Mole. Hey, Mole. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? I mean, it's kind of a weird question. Like, I got here on the train all by myself. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. <sighs> Pour one out for Gonta. I know. Jeez. Is she fucking Himiko? Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. It brings me so much joy to know how much the weebs are enjoying this English voice acting. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Welcome to town, here's the job. Oh, All right. I should get back to work. Nanako is looking at you. Uh oh. Are we about to go to Persona Are Realm? Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mention mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. Man, our breakfast is about to be expelled. What's wrong? You okay? I'm just tired. It's nothing. I just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. 
Just let me know when you're ready to go. Thank you, pleasant gruff uncle. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Help, examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Damn, look at the swagger. Whoa, we move fast. Holy shit. Damn, the next bus isn't going to come for a while, and if you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy myself one. Do you hear about the new stadium? Dojima is waiting for you. You shouldn't wander off too far. Waffles chat upon. A friendly looking girl, hmm? Have we met before? I met you just now. What were you doing at the station? It's just your imagination. I met you just now. The girl is thinking to herself. The station? Oh, that one time. Nothing. I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The girl falls silent. It's just your imagination. Hmm, I see. Alright. Pre preferred Dr. Legs and Persona 5. This is the bookstore. It is fairly empty inside. Okay, I feel like we're moving a little too fast, but okay. Wasn't expecting this kind of perspective. Interesting. Hmm, you have something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. Let me turn it down. How's the sound still now with this? We okay? Used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junes hadn't come to town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Is, um, okay, so I, the first time I ever heard of, uh, Persona games, was in a comic called Three Panel Soul, which um, used to be, which is what uh, uh, Matt Call turned into, if you know the old webcomic Matt Call. And uh, then uh, Ian McCova, I think that's his name, and uh, the other guy who I can't remember his name, sorry, it's a little disrespectful, I can't remember his name, um, uh, made Three Panel Soul and they did that, and they did, a, they did one about Persona, and um, some, something about how, how they summoned their persona was that they took up their gun and shot themselves in the head. Is that this one or is that Persona 3? I guess we'll find out. But if that's this one, that is literally the only thing I know about this game. A fierce looking man is single-mindedly single pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. It's the Maruku Tofu Shop, an old woman is tending the store. What's with the birds? Okay, the Jima clan is waiting. A variety of products lines the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Mm -hmm, I like the shop, it's very nice. It's inconvenient, inconvenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. All right, out of towner. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. All right. Dinosaur office. Rawr. All right. I'm done. I walked around. How you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. All right. Let's hit the road then. During events, press backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. This looks very anime. I don't know why. I feel like I've seen this before in some sort of um, some sort of like anime clip that's been posted around. You arrived at the Dejima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right. Why were we expelled? Afternoon. Evening. All right. Let's have a toast. It looks more like sushi to me. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? 
So we're drinking milk and she's drinking orange juice and Chad Uncle's just like, just down in a brewski? I can respect that. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. All right, so that's why we're here, but is that the real reason? Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. I'll do just that. Thank you for your kindness. Yes, sir. Dot, 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 dot. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm -hmm. There's been a murder. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. But you have, you, you down in a brisky. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. All right. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Where's he going? Nanako, What's... it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? It's kind of weird. I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone, Nanako, eating some toast. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your what does your dad do? It must be tough. Thought the thought. What does your dad do? He investigates. <laughs> Crime scenes. <laughs> I didn't know. My dad's a detective. Detective Uncle, all right. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. It's a bit strange. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. I agree. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Juness? Every day's great at your Juness. Oh, for fuck's sake. I remember someone saying that now. No. Oh, all right. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Oh, okay. It's more like the phone, but okay. Alright, and we're going to be walking right out the door. You're tired from the long trip. You shouldn't be walking around outside. Alright, Morgana lives on in spirit. Alright, you open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. No, just, just yeah, the first day. Let's just open the fridge and eat some fried rice. Yeah, okay. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Every day's great at your June. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. 
A quiz show is on TV. You're watching a quiz show? This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Oh, it's full of cardboard boxes we need to clean up. This is very Persona. You're tired from a long trip. You should rest. Go to sleep. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to sleep. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Uh oh. Like we on a Rubik's cube? This is the area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Silent Hill. Is it supposed to be in the TV or something? Kind of a focus on TV so far. If it wasn't for the ones in the intro, then, you know, it wouldn't be odd, but... Mm. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from from up ahead. Uh oh. It's me, your persona. Persona for what? Ha ha ha, you sense on a ped, will you continue? Yeah. Uh oh. So you are the one pursuing me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Try all you like. Attack, guard, skill. Use your persona's ability. We don't have one. Apparently we have one. Zio, cleave, Raku Kaja. Um, Zio. I'll use my persona. Hmm, it seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Attack. We have a katana? I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. Alright, I'm just gonna guard. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. Uh-oh. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Alright, let's just guard them. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Mm hmm. I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Alright. What the fuck was that about? You can hear someone's Breakfast voice. Breakfast ready! It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. I hope our teacher is hot. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sauce. Oh, toast. Yeah, no, yeah, it's how it's toast. Okay. Okay. Did you make this? Let's eat. Did your father go to work? Did you? Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so. Let's go together. I'm impressed you can cook. Holy shit. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decided to head to school with Nanako. School zone. Samegawa floodplain. Kind of feel like those two shouldn't go together, but alright. What is with the, the, the JPEG trees? What? You keep going straight from here. All right. My school's this way. Bye. See you later.
The leaves look like the dog from Ace Combat. School zone, intersection in front of the school. Do, 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 do. Biking student. Pain student. That looks painful. You should leave him be. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You've arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I feel like we should have been given a day to settle in first instead of just like, hey, alright, go to school. I wonder which one of these are characters. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, alright. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Whoa. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Hmm. A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? Yosuke? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. What? Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. I was expelled. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. Whoa! So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Oh, and... Th th thank you so much, teacher. That is like the best gift you could you could give me. Thank you so Tell much. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Waffles chat upon. Nice to meet you all. You calling me a loser? Your courage has increased. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Again, thank you so much, teach. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. <laughs> You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. <laughs> Your fucking TikTok videos, Mr. Maruka goes on and on. <laughs> Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? You have no idea. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Oh, that's almost like an, exp uh, an expulsion. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Alright, that was pretty on the nose there at the end. Okay, after school. Alright. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> Uh oh! Attention, all teachers. Someone's dead. 
Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. Bing, 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 bing. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. A new rule has been added to the voting game. <laughs> you heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Uh-oh. Fog? Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Let's flash back to the to the fog in our dream. <laughs> fog? Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Paparazzi? Oh huh, yeah. You mean my Yumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Oh man, rumor loving student. Hey, hey Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? Okay, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the voices so far. Uh the opening to Persona 5 wasn't exactly the best either. Um, obviously it's not fair fair to compare their um their visuals because like this is a much older game. Um Persona 5 is like very visually stylish. Uh this this is still fine. Like it, it looks it looks okay. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of the voice acting so far. I think Persona 5's uh, voice, voice acting was better. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. You get, you study more, you get more points. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's okay. Maybe the voices will grow on me. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. <laughs> Someone in chat just said, Fogniferous? Stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. Uh-oh. I repeat. Incident? Incident. What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Man, we didn't say a word this whole scene, did we? Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Sure. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Yeah, I'm Chatapon. Of course, you do? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. What? Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. Okay, so she's very green and Yukiko is very red. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. What the fuck is a DVD? Ah! Mine's cracked too. 
critical hit to the Nats. Isn't it supposed to be, though? Uh, are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. See you later. Damn. We'll do that one more time before we talk to him. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? Okay, strange student. What the fuck? What? Who, who are you? Who the fuck are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, are, are you coming or not? Am I not supposed to understand half of this? Like, oh, sorry, am I supposed to not understand half of this? I have no idea what they fucking just said. Alright. What I, the fuck is I'm this guy's going. problem? Fine! Well, what did he want from me? That was kind of weird. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Alright, I'm not really feeling cheese so far. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? She's <laughs> just out of nowhere. Man, you're cruel. <laughs> You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? Oh, nice. I'd rather not. Oh. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. This guy's voice is pretty good. We're just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Yeah, let's get out of here, fake Makoto. Go, go, go. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. We're no in. way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. What? I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Thank you. Cuter than you. I think so, yeah. It's hard to say. Dot, 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 dot. Alright. Well, we are, we are chat upon. And I think, as a chat upon, it's our sworn duty to find out who wants to be upon Chad. So let's go. I think so, yeah. Oh, I knew it! Nice. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Very weird. Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Well, who's your boyfriend? Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. 
But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? It's fog. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... She was murdered. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Dead bodies are killed when they're dead. Hey, what's up, what up Uncle hey, Detective? What are you doing here? I'm just walking home from school. Did something happen? We were curious. We're just passing by. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Well, that food just got expelled. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Do we get to see that? Because there was like that in the intro, it showed like it looked like there was a body in the antenna. It was pretty gruesome, actually. Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Every day is great at your Juness. Good idea. Yeah, good idea. All right. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. All right, I don't want I don't want to hate on it too much, like especially when we're early on. And I want to be clear, I'm only I'm only talking about the voice acting right now. I feel like Chie's uh, voice acting is I don't think it's the dialogue. I think I think it's the voice acting is is the issue. And I I don't want to I don't want to hate on a voice actor because it could be direction. I just I just feel like her dialogue as I'm reading, it, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But then the way it's delivered is just kind of like, wait, what? Like it's it's kind of obnoxious. That's the only thing I dislike so far, is Chie's voice acting. You decide to head away from the crime scene. It's like it doesn't fit what the character is saying in their demeanor. I don't know... Uh, I don't know... Enough about anime tropes to know for sure. Alright, so where are we going? We're we just going straight home or... Oh, Juness! Let's go to Juness! Hello, I hear every day's great here. I'm waiting for my dad. He said he's gonna come get us. I heard something happen, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. All right, you must be a student at Yosogami High. It would be terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. The elevator is currently being inspected. All right, that's a very fancy elevator. Leave your mess. Yeah. You're soon at Yosogami. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. Nah, I'm a rebel. I'm a Chad. This is the bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. A, tra a Chad goes where he pleases. Salary man, there's a bit of a ruckus and there's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime really? Yay, an emergency. Now I don't have to go back to work. Fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. Probably a good choice. Tofu shop. Oh, it seems like it's the same as last time. A 
I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such great sleep, but they woke me up, yawn. Oh, oh, okay. It seems this is a Chinese restaurant. You can smell the appetizing scent of food from here. I like food. This is there's a bulletin board. Look at the job openings. There are no job openings at the moment. All right. Look at the poster. Samagawa Bo Bojo Mizuyu Hiragi. It's a poster of a famous Enka singer. Oh, the one that's having the affair. Didn't they tell you at school you're supposed to head straight home? Still, where did the store's owner go? I can't leave here until I talk to him. Oh, not the, the one who's not the one who's having the affair. Her husband is having the affair. Dude, I think. A bunch of appetizing dishes are on display, but the owner is nowhere to be found. All right, chow down. Sun says, Naka Nishi drugs, but the shutters are closed. There's a notice saying the shop is closed. Damn. Stores aren't open when they're closed. This looks like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. Pretty good. It's a little unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. This has never happened before. I heard there was some kind of incident. I can't believe this could happen in a small town like ours. I'm so scared. I don't even want to be outside. You should get home quickly too. Shino Baru with shutters are closed. There's no saying the shop is closed. Alright. Yes, that's right. I'm in front of the store owned by the parents. Yes, I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no. Like I explained already. The parents? It's a beverage vending machine with a roulette game. However, all the drinks are sold out. There's nothing for you to buy. Alright. Let's 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 go home. Okay, so did I go to different areas here? The floodplain, central shopping district. Okay, so can we go back to high school? Hey you, don't you know there's an order to go home? What if you get caught up in something bad? Go straight home, you hear? Alright, I'm going. Okay, so it looks like there is um, different areas within some of the places on the map you can go. Alright. Must be student of Yosokami High. You should head straight home for today. Alright. Kind of getting pressure we should go head home. I, can't, I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. What the fuck is that? Isn't this river something? It's called the Samagawa and it, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. Can we go fishing? I keep seeing police cars moving by today. Was there some kind of accident? Get out of my way, birds. Yeah, I showed them. And it was terrible, I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days, I can't even relax when I go out shopping and I was going to buy some tiny sole tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden, as long as they have some unused land to work with. Alright, can we do that? Thank you, housewife and farming clothes. You take this, take that spot next to the Jima place, for example. That's more than enough to let, enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Chuckle. Oh, man. There's an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. Do you want to start a garden? Yes, I do. Haru will be so proud. Go to town. No. It will become evening when you return home. Return home. Yes, I'm returning home. I wonder if Dad 
it's not coming home again tonight. I too have a coffee. Oh, that looks Our like top green story tea. this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano. Oh no! A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. She was the one that was having the affair with the guy with the with, uh, with whose wife is the woman that we just saw on the fucking poster thing. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed. <laughs> the, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> Are you worried about him? It'll be all right. Dot, dot, dot. It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. That's a weird place to put a body. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Yeah, I would be uncertain too. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. What? A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Oh man, they're they're the opposite of uh, fogniferous. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yosokami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with the local councilman secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof. That's scary. <laughs> It's Juness. Every day is great. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I, I went there today and they were closed. Every day is great at your Juness. God, I hope she sings it. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. I already did it. Do you like that song? You're a good singer. You're Junus. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. I practiced all night. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Alright, how the fuck is Juness gonna play in until all this is going on? The quiz show is on TV. I'm eating that rice. I'm doing it. Nothing. Oh, someone ate the rice. Was it you? What's this like? Oh, there's a there's a, like a, a cord hanging. Kind of blended in with the with the wall for a second. All right. You're still tired from getting used to your new life. You shouldn't be walking around outside. All right, let's go upstairs and clean up. Two thousand eleven. Oh, it's just next day already. Damn. Someone. Rolling student. Maybe you should help him. We're not going to though. Oh, we are. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Do you get the name now? Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Waffles chat upon. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yosuke is dangerously close to Yusuke. Nice to meet you too. Are you okay? Is your bike okay? Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Yosuke seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. I don't know. All right, are you the Ryuji Hanging of this game? A dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Hmm. Pretty sus. Oh crap! We're late. You want to ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. We're we're gonna get on together. What? 
No. Really? Please show it. Aww. Oh. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy, and since I'm so nice, <laughs> I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? This teacher, wow. And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Oh boy, here we go. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. What is it? The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? Yukiko? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? Grilled steak. I know a place where that you can get it good. cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Sure, let's go. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? What was she doing? I'll pass. Packing your bag? I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Alright, so far Yosuke is best girl. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Did it did it did it did it. Oh god. June's food court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Oh man, today's great. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. What? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? No, you haven't. No one tells me anything, because I'm a fucking JRPG protagonist. No one tells me shit until long past the time that it's relevant. And they're like, oh, you didn't know that? Oh, you never asked. I moved here from another city about six months back. Were you expelled? This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Thank you. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Wow, she's terrible, huh? Seriously. She's just the worst. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <laughs> <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Saki-senpai? Sorry, be right back. Who's that? Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? Who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Oh man, so I know how we're getting drinks. I think she's working here part time though. Okay. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Fuck, he's a redditor. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? 
Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Hey, are you the next murder victim? How's it going, Saki? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? No. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? No. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Oh, you like him. That's good. Yeah, he's annoying. That's not true. Nah, he's a great guy. Got your back, Yosuke. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Why the fuck are you calling her senpai, my dude? Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? Yeah, she's dead for sure. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying. But she's even nosier than me. She's dead for sure. She has a yeah. younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, okay, maybe not dead. All right. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Mm, okay, so it's another TV thing. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. Oh, we're going to see Yusuke. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Useful? How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Yusuke, if Yusuke did this, he'd, he'd get ready, prepared. He'd, he'd dress up all fancy. He'd make sure it's raining properly. He'd go in front of the TV. You know, he'd turn off, close his eyes. He'd kneel there, center himself, and then he'd open his eyes and see his own reflection of the TV. Be confused for just a moment, and then nod and go, Yes, this makes sense. I am my own soulmate. And he'd be right. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Yeah, sure, why not? Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? Don't worry. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. Has he not been back for three days? Really? Oh! He's home! <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuyu Misu 
Mis Misuzu, whatever, Haragi, an Inca singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Mm. Ugh, an interview with a kid? Ugh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Whoa, what? The female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? What the fuck? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seemed to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, y Yosuke Senpai. Nah. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Ooh. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning, or a sign, from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? The, the guy that was, he, he, who was having an affair with her isn't a suspect? What? The Dima, what are you doing? We'll be right back after these messages. Every day's fucking great at your June. Oh, Every day is oh customer my God. day. No. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. <laughs> Every day's great at your June. Every day's great at your June. Hey, Dad, can we go to June together sometime? <laughs> Aww. No? He seems to be asleep. People Jeez. are sleeping when they're asleep. I feel bad for Nanako. Is he still there? The dream is sleeping. She doesn't have time to eat his fried rice. God damn it. When I go to bed, I'll wake up that, I wake up, th wake that up, and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. You were reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. We have a TV in our room. The rain falls into the night. Your money that you made a promise, yeah. Okay. Let's just say that we did it. Alright. What bullshit's gonna happen now? You can hear it raining outside. Oh, I hope to God what I... Please don't happen. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look in TV. Internet. Please, please don't... This is not how we meet the fucking Morgana of this game, is it? Could, could she... Could she story be true? For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Well, here we go. <laughs> oh, we look way more normal in this scene than the other ones. What? Is this even us? Persona vibes! We're vibing!
Whoa, it's a touch screen. Well, this is not very Junas. Okay, kind of. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Nanako seems to return to her room. What just happened? We decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Yeah, so I did that challenge, and like my my arm and head got sucked into the TV. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. She forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did it on my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic, mimic the movie. Alright. By the way, did you see it? I did. Aha, do tell, but the person it showed... Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Alright. She's better when there's no voice acting. Fuck. Uh, um. Fuck. Uh, it's kinda awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Don't worry about it, you'll catch a cold. Then let's race! Don't worry about it. Huh? Are you Thanks. sure? If you say so, then I guess it's okay. Thanks. Excuse me? Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me, I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance, history is like a river, it was born in the past and flows ever forward, especially if it's in a dry land. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together, ho 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 ho! And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Chatapon, please stand up. Alright, I'm standing. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? 0 AD! 0 AD! Uh, it's, it's just 1 BC, isn't it? It's definitely not minus 1. Um, let's go 1 BC. You gave the answer you think is correct. I see you understand this well. If you think it's just... History is like math, your AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the, the zero of the zero as a number. What? That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Alright, your knowledge has increased. Yeah! Yeah, we did it! What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo Um... Yosuke. It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Everyone saw Chad upon in the TV. Everybody. Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Red's pretty fucking sus, I gotta say. Red is, is pretty it just sus. Me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? Yeah, it's really fucking sus. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, 
what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. What? I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? Yes. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. <laughs> it sounds like we all saw the same person. What a joker. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. If it had been bigger... Let's find a bigger TV and do oh, it. That reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? <laughs> <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decided to go to June S with the others. June S Electronics Department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Move? Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. All right, let's break in at night and do the thing again. It's a bigger TV and we get sucked in because apparently that matters. Nope, can't get in. Figure. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. No, no, it's not midnight. Damn, he's right. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Is, is this important? What? Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? God, I hope she doesn't see it. Darn. Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. For That's real? some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Just jump in. Just jump. <laughs> Daddy, don't do that. Why? What are you doing? <laughs> just the fucking arm is gonna put my head in. Oh my god! <laughs> There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What 
do you mean inside? Wh what do you mean empty space? It seems very spacious in here. Wh what do you mean spacious? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. And with that, I too am going to use go use the toilet. All right, time for break. Can I alt tab out of this without losing it? Or I don't think I can. All right, be back in five minutes. Every day's great at your genus. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Orange XD for the new sub. Thank you, Rabbit of Doom for the 28 month resub. Thank you, Pitba1 for the 6 month resub. Mython665 for the 100 bits. 100 pones for the 26 month resub. Uh, Kareem AZ for the 3 month resub. Max Wiggles for the new sub. Welcome, Max Wiggles. Thank you, Winged... Sorry, Wing Edge. Not Winged GE. Uh, Wing Edge for the 2 3 sub. Tim Foil for the 24 month 3 sub. Welcome to the 2-year club, Tim Foil. Uh, Sustre for the 100 bits. Jingus for the 2 month 3 sub. Jaffenhauer for the 18 month 3 sub. Arido Gup Gape? One of those two. For the 20 month 3 sub. 
Bizarre Magician for the new sub. Welcome, Bizarre Magician. Dalroth for the 613 sub. Fozzy Foster Kid for gifting a sub to Chrome Cadet. <laughs> Interesting name. Thank you very much, Fozzy Foster Kid. Uh, Top Lolly for the 1713 sub. Thank you very much, Top Lolly. Thank you, Raiden Snake 94 for the new sub. Welcome, Raiden Snake 94. Uh, the Tatooin for 1,702 bits. Specific amount of bits. Thank you very much for the bits, the Tatooine. Thank you very much. Thank you, the Warrior of Time for the 213 sub. Uh, AP Nerd for gifting out two subs. 1255 Kobe55 and Just Data. Thank you very much, AP Nerd. Thank you, J Bayan for the new sub. Welcome, J Bayan. Mr. Mrs. Mr. for the 813 sub. Player Zero Z Zero, interesting, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you very much. Senpai Moisturizer. What? For the 213 sub. Excuse me. Thank you very much. Maybe not thank you for making me say that out loud, but, but thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, Dr. Inion113 for the 213 sub. Thank you very much. Jason Kim for the 3613 sub. Welcome to the three-year club, Jason Kim. Thank you very much. Uh, Lamotopus? No. Llama Potmouse. I don't know why I went for an octopus kind of thing. Llama Potmouse? Hopefully, I'm, I'm close to saying that right. Thank you very much for the 213 sub. Alessa Raven for the new sub. Welcome, Alessa Raven. Thank you very much. Slagamer64 for the 26 month 3 sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Madbake, as well, for the 41 month 3 sub. Holy shit, 41 months. Thank you so much, Madbake. Uh, Chrysanto for the new sub. Welcome, Chrysanto. Thank you, Laser Ninja Studios, for the 100 bits. Chrysanto for 135 bits as well, after the sub. Slagamer64 for 5,000 bits. Holy, holy shit. That's, that's, that's a lot of bits. It sounded like I said bitch there, didn't it? <laughs> 5,000 bitch. Uh, that, that is a lot of bits. Thank you so much, Slugamer64. Too many bits. Too many bits. Thank you, Wafflesman45, for the 5 month resub. Thank you, Acer Sasha, for the 6 month resub. Thank you, Princess She, for the 28 month resub. Thank you, It's ALR, for the new sub. Welcome, It's ALR. Thank you, Beetle Boy Kirio, for the 8 month resub. Uh, Iron Wrath for gifting a sub to Yosuke Hanamura. Oh, is that, is that his last name? Yosuke is my favorite character so far. Tier 3 as well. Tier 3. Yosuke with the Tier 3 sub. Holy shit. Thank you so much, Iron Wrath. Thank you, Droki Connex, for the 3 month 3 sub. Thank you, D Nick1776, for the 6 month 3 sub. Thank you, Gloop1, for the 2 month 3 sub. Thank you, Thunder Turtle7, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, S Snabs, for the 13 month 3 sub. Thank you, Topo Di Biblioteca, for the new sub. Welcome, Topo. And the last three on my list are Ben Avid. Thank you very much, Ben Avid, for the former three sub. Madame Ghost for the new sub. Welcome, Madame Ghost. And Jay Hardwater for the two-month three sub. Thank you very much. And also, thank you to all of you who are here today. Uh, this is the biggest stream I've ever done. Um, I think that we capped out at, like, 4,000 viewers. And, yeah, by far, uh, biggest stream we've ever done. Thank you so much. I drink some water to toast it. Thank you, Shadow Dar, for the 100 bits as well. Thank you so much. All right, let us continue. Yosuke finally gets to pee. Okay, so I can Alt-Tab out, and I can Alt-Tab in, and it won't... Um, the music comes back on, and it won't uh, push it forward. If I click, will it? Okay, if I click, it will. Okay. Mouse cursor should go away, right? Customers, they're coming! Just pull out. What are we gonna do? Oh wait, he's a chat. All right, where is my water? Where'd it go? Look, wait, whoa! Interesting, so All of us finding this natural stuff at, one, at, the, at the same time. Interesting. What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Are you guys okay? Is this a dream? Are you guys okay? 
Your understanding has increased, has it? I think my butt's cracked now. On. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. So was that a callback in Persona 5? What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. Alright, Chie seems seems better now, so when things get serious, she's she's alright. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Let's look around, let's go home. It's up to you, let's look around. Huh? But, but look. We need to get home and Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. We're stuck in what? the TV. That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. Let's go to let's get to the GNS commercial and then we can crawl into the TV take this back anymore. at Uncle Detective's house. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Every day is great at your. Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out. We're doomed. Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Was there an auto button? If I press like X or Y? That's true, but... No. If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. That's in the settings? Okay, I don't want that on all the time. I just want it on whenever there's voice acting. Maybe there's a setting for that too. Oh, that looks Persona 5 -y. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Let's go through that doorway into a better game. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there's no choice for now for now but to continue onward. Do 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 Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? Okay, are those posters of the woman that was killed and someone scratched out her face? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. Is that a noose? It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Woes and woes. That's unsettling, I like it. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! Just go pee in the corner! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? Go behind the door! I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding! I love anime. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Can your bladder burst? Anyways, what's with this room? If if you just, okay, I know this is a weird question. I'm surprised I haven't looked this up actually. Like if if you just don't pee. Like, will your bladder rupture, or or will you just pee? Like, like what's gonna happen first? Like, 
Will your bladder just burst open inside of you, or will you just involuntarily start peeing? I, I would think that you would just start peeing, right? I guess it, it depends. Hmm. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. Was it in Saki's room? And I'm not feeling so good. Wait, is that the woman now who was killed? You mention it, or me too. no, it's not. It wasn't the one that was killed. It was it was the wife of the husband who was having the affair on the one that was killed. Okay. Your body does feel heavy. Arms weak. Could it be due to the, this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Go pee, dude. Phew. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. I'll use my persona. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Uh oh. What in the world? I don't like this. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Kick it. <gasps> it talked. W what are you? You want to fight? Kick it in the balls and run. D don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What is this place? What are you? Is this a dream? What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. How? Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Ooh, angry. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Is there a bathroom? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it! Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... And then it just appears. Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? One each, or can we all use the same one? Hmm, and she was killed on an antenna? All right, are we gonna get like- Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. Are we gonna get like spat out somewhere like on a rooftop or something or, hmm. What's going on now? Whoa, hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing. Do, do, do. Oh no, we're back out here. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? Yosuke, go pee. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? Oh, oh shit! It's already that late. 
All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's yeah, death? Yeah, Chie is much better when um, things are serious. Okay, I hope that keeps up. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. What about your bladder? I'm feeling a chill, too. Chile? Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. It's the next hey, day at school. Welcome home. Yosuke still has not peed. He's still complaining about it. I just forgot when I got home. I got playing video games, man. Oh, well, let's go to Juness. Can we pee for... No, we have to go right now. You scared... Oh, God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, now we're sucked into another TV. Oh, man. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um... Well, I doubt you'd know. But do you know who the killer is? <laughs> but have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? <sighs> she discovered the body. People feel sorry for her. She wasn't at school today. She discovered the body. Yeah. That's true. She's acting pretty sus, to be honest. <sighs> well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Uh-oh. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Okay, so either she's dead or she's the killer. All right. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. Whoa. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Yukiko's pretty sus now. Red's acting sus. The Amagi Inn is that. It's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? It's very informal to be on the news. Oh, yes. The Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. Yeah, okay, th yeah, th that's relevant. If okay. that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. Yukiko taking over the inn is the I was expelled of this of, of this game's intro. The rain has begun to subside. Did you hear that Yukiko's gonna take over From the inn? From now until morning, Heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn run by Yukiko's family. Yukiko's family is the family of Yukiko, the student I go to school with. She's going to take over that inn one day, and it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Cold medicine? Why don't you go get it? You should get to bed after you take it. Alright. No Juness commercial tonight? That sucks. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Nothing catches your eye. 
Alright. And there was never fried rice again. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Rest. Damn, there's a lot of anime. Hmm. Oh, damn. Is this a dream or is this another one? Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. All right, later. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. All right, someone else is dead. I hope it's Yukiko. Nanako looks worried. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? Uh oh, is Yukiko the Makoto of this game? Oh shit! Oh no, I what have I done? Yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? At her funeral, every single person gives their eulogy, and they include a tidbit about how it's such a shame she died because she was going to inherit the inn in the spring. Every single one of them mention it. And when they do, everyone else nods. Such a shame. You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. Early morning, afternoon. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? For real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. Uh-oh. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh. It's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Who the fuck are these two? First, the principal has something to say. This is the principal? Charles Darwin? I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Yukiko, who is set to inherit the... <laughs> One of our third year students Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3 has passed away. Fucking called it. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. I'm sorry, Yosuke. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Senpai's here? About that, oh, I saw it too. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So the school is clear. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. What? Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> Aw, poor Yusuke. The principal's address continues. This is not very Juness. Man, I feel bad for Yusuke. What the hell? She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. That, that's pretty much an antenna. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Poison. Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Oh, everyone... Everyone who's going to die shows up on the TV at midnight before it happens. It's it's like a death TV. It's like a note shows up on the TV, like a, a death commercial. Oh. 
Sounds like someone had a nightmare. I don't remember seeing her in our scene. Did I just blank that out, or, did, like, I don't know? The media's <laughs> been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Did you pee yet? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. No. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. We need to save Sake for all of our Sakes. What? What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? What if she's still alive in the TV? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, oh. but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> Die? It's a death screen. I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean... Don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Okay, like... This is very unusual that... You know... I I'm guessing that Yosuke's supposed to be like your main character's best friend. Like... He actually figured something out on his own? Like, what the fuck is this? This ain't- this ain't your average Ryuji. What the fuck? Well, what do you think? You might be right. That's preposterous. You might be right. I'm Yusuke now. So it's not just me, huh? <laughs> Yusuke and Yosuke. Attorneys at law. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Can you go in without me? Don't, don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... They touched the TV first, right? And nothing happened. Or maybe they just, like, moved their hand close to it. I don't know. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. We can show them. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Go with Yosuke. Stop Yosuke. Let Chi decide. Yeah, that's not happening. Go with Yosuke. You serious? No, I'm Yosuke. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Yeah, she's gotten better in the past two scenes. Would you like to see your progress this far? Yes, of course. You guys came. You brought a gun? We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. 
I know, but we were able to come back once, right? Is it any TV? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Try a different TV. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I can't leave it alone. This doesn't involve me. I'm worried about you. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. I don't think she's gonna be able to hold it while you climb up if that's your thought. Like, what? Here. This is for you. Obtain golf club. Medicine 3. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. Oh, are we gonna have gameplay? I thought we wouldn't have gameplay for a stream. Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Alright. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. This is fine. Hope no one comes along. Uh. <gasps> See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Du -du 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 -du. Now what? Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? This thing is evil, I right? Get it. You're the ones behind this! This thing is very evil. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. This world is imperfect. That means you're the most suspicious. Yep. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Hell no. Don't live. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Have you have you guys seen the uh, the uh, the video of um, like the libertarian conference where they're asked like um, should should people require a license to drive a car and the guy's like hell no <laughs> what's next people needing a license to make toast in their own damn toaster and then the guy's like license to drive I think there should be some competency and they're like boo. <laughs> Hell no, that's what I think of whenever I see hell no now. <laughs> what are you talking about throwing people in? <laughs> if someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Oh. Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. They were stuck in the TV when we saw them. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey... What do you think? That must be it. They accidentally fell in. I don't know. That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... <laughs> he's just, the bear is just standing there just staring at us like, 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 yeah, okay. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? 
It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. But you'd let us out. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. No. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. The mysterious bear has joined the party. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. The mysterious bear likes to tell you when you can and cannot go to bed. Proof? It doesn't work that way. Shut up. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is, you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. Fog. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Uh-oh. Ah, I get it. Do you? Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. I miss Morgana. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? What do you mean? Run that by me again? Yeah, always been like- what do you- like, how long? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. Yeah, but how long have you been here for? Like a day, a week, a month, 2,000 years? Like, what do you mean? We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. Is this Mementos, or is, or is Mementos Persona 5 only? Like, like what? I'm not looking for answers, by the way. I'm just thinking out loud. Whenever I think out loud, I don't reach out. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. Yeah. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Yeah, I, I didn't even... It didn't even occur to me that it might be a costume. <laughs> is it? I don't think it is. But it didn't even fucking, like, like, occur to me that it might be... <laughs> Oh. What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Pretty sus. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. For now. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... Or else what? I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Okay. You little... Don't you get lonely? This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. How do you know how to talk? Are you, Is there anyone else here? Do you talk to the shadows? Like. And then... And then... I... <laughs> I miss Morgana. What are you crying for all of a sudden? 
Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Oh, I feel s such a relief I don't have to watch One Piece. <laughs> the mysterious spirit is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. I'm enjoying it, chat. I'm just fucking with you. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. It's me. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. It looks to be the mystery that will be thrust upon you. What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? A promise. Thank you! It's a contract. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. Huh? But... It's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Waffles chat upon. You got a name? Teddy! Of course. <laughs> Figures. Yep. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? No. I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Is it bear costumes? Ooh. What are these glasses for? So you can see the shadows. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! Whoa, I've needed glasses my whole life and I never knew. Thank you, Teddy. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Yeah, how long? Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? Oh, there are. We brought weapons, but, I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? Knock them right off their feet. Nice, chat upon. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy. Try pushing Teddy. Try hitting Teddy. No! Worth. Is this thing for real? For real? This is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Is it to help you out? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. What? Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Gameplay? What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. So in Persona 5, the characters get like, like, bitchin' outfits and, and fucking cool masks. And in Persona 4, they get glasses. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. What the hell, Persona 4? Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. Of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. 
Hmm. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! They're what? here. Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack. Alright, what's the ballad music like in this game? Huh? It's gonna be good. Pot of greed. So he said it. Stay calm and listen. All right. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, uh, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking enemies weakness is lot does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack to get the advantage in, in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemies' weaknesses and your own in mind. Alright. Do we get all our attacks in this game or like an equivalent or no? Alright, persona. Alright. Okay, so that's to change the one we're using. Alright, skill. Um, Zio. Increases uh, one ally's defense for three turns. Cleave, light damage to one flow. Let's try electric. Slipping Havlery? Zanagi! Yeah! I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check known information about the enemy with the analysis command or by pressing the analyze button. One more, alright. Persona! One more. Alright, can I... I don't think it's gonna work when they're down, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh-oh. Very stylish. He felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. You did it, Sensei! <sighs> Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas of level two. Can we also buy jam bread? Wealth shed upon his face his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona is a naggy. Whoa, what was that? It was my persona. Did I hear you say persona? 
what was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? No. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. Were they? <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. <sighs> I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. How dark is this gonna get? That's cool. Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Oh god, if she went through this. Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Next spring, you're gonna inherit it, just like Yukiko is gonna inherit the inn. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey. Is this... Senpai? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Kanishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I... never had the chance to say it. Uh-oh. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Uh-oh. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Yeah, there we go. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. No, I don't think so. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Huh? Two Yosuke's? And they both need to pee. Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Is this Yosuke's palace? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. 
You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. I'm surprised how much of this is voice acted so far. I don't remember as much being voice acted in Persona 5, but maybe I'm just misremembering. The more the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Maybe the intro in Persona 5 was voice acted as much and then it trailed off a little bit. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! Sake. I know the real reason you came snooping. Ooh. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Getting a bit young and the restless in here. Alright, let's fight Yosuke's shadow. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me. You're nothing like me! Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Wait, what? We're not winning this battle. I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Shadow Yosuke is one of those things they use to advertise car dealerships. Sorry. Wind of Oblivion, and we're dead. No, we oh get to go again. All right. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Yeah, okay. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status element, attacks can be blocked. Okay. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will... Be you will leave the defensive stance after being hit once. Alright. I thought it got one more. I guess it didn't. Alright, let's guard. Attack. Oh shit, it didn't do it. Alright, so when will they do it? Let's see. Uh, skill. Alright, I hope it's weak to lightning. Looking promising. Yeah! Alright, one more. Alright, do we want to do cleave? Oh, that costs HP. We're not doing that. Um, uh, no, let's just keep doing it. In the ass! Guard! It's guarding its weak point! Alright, well, we should still just attack, right? Like, why not? Eh, fuck it. Let's, let's buff our defense. Wind to the blue. Oh, shit! No! Well, we're dead. Normal Yosuke, are you gonna help? Persona. Damn it, don't 
Don't underestimate me. All right, attack. All right, I think we need to heal. Soul drop restores 10 SP. Uh, 100. All right, let's heal. Do 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 guard. All right. Here comes an attack. No. Defend yourself. Yeah, guard. All right, we're guarding. Huh? That's it. Boring. Out of the way. Oh, we're gonna run out of SP at this rate. Alright, maybe we should be doing attacking after the after, uh, Zio. Power charge. Shadow Yosuke has charged up. Alright, well, let's just let's just fucking uh Zio. Yeah, one more. Attack. Lean in the ass! Uh oh. What? 47? What? Alright, we're dead. Alright. Maybe we're supposed to lose. Lean in the ass! Guard. Here comes an attack! Def You're getting to be a real pain! All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Wins of oblivion. All right, guarding is really strong. All right, I guess we need to heal again. Power charge. All right, this is terrifying. All right, does that it's just going to attack? Does Defend that just yourself. charge the next attack? I thought that was a charge forever. All right, let's guard. Persona. All right, I think we need to do two more Don't cycles. Don't underestimate me. All right, guard, guard. Here comes an attack. What a freaking pain in the ass! Get out of my way. All right, of SP. Oh no! All right, I hope it's weak to attacking. It's not. Shit, uh, do we use this or can we just beat it down? Maybe we can just beat it down. It's not looking good for the Persona Pals. It's not looking good. Let's try it. Oh, it's a lot. All right, cool. All right, can we break- Here can we, comes an attack. Can we, Defend yourself. Can we kill it through guard? No, let's just guard. All right, we should kill it now. Hope we don't miss. We did it. First try. I felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Amazing, Sensei. Level three, nice. Something inside of you has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. Ma has increased by one. N has increased by one. Lu has increased by one. All right. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I ate your shadow's ass. I am thou. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. You're still yourself. You have to be brave. Everyone's the same inside. You're still yourself. Myself. to face yourself I knew it wasn't lying but I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it you're me and I'm you when you get down to it all of this is me the strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest what
Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained uh, the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Jiraiya. This is my persona. Looks like a rock star. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. Well, at least now you don't have to be sad anymore that she's dead. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. Hmm. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them? This world killed them? This world killed them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. Hmm. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Maybe. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? All right, we need to set up a, a, a TV realm watch. Like how you guys just saved me? That seems to be the case. We need to f find the culprit. We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Maybe, maybe they're just coming in here on their own, like we did. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? Maybe Sake was like standing in front of every TV after dinner and was like, everything's great at your Nest, and then she tripped and fell into the TV. And then instead of doing the usual, hey, stepbrother, I'm stuck, she went further in, and then that's it, and then she died, you know? Like, if shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Oh, who cares about Teddy? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself, to be honest. 
I never thought about it until now. This is Morgana all over again. They're just repeating what they did with Morgana. I can't believe it. Like, do something different. Like, come on. Are you serious? You already did Morgana. No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Of course, we made a promise. We have no choice. Of course. Really? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. In my swimsuit. You need to come in from the same place yeah? every time. So we can meet up. Alright. From the same place? The TV at Juness? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Ooh. Got it? Reassuring. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> squish! Squish, squish. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! It's like Portal 2 music. You, you guys came back! <laughs> huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? You've been gone for a week. Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea! Man, we're in. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. What, what do you mean? You're, you're anime protagonist's best friend. Where's the confused fucking, like, visible confusion? Like, Whoa, what's her problem? I don't understand what just happened. Oh, oh man, I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Not gonna say anything to her tomorrow. That's gonna go completely unresolved. Like, what? what is this, Yosuke? What is this competency? And like these the fucking, like the, the social experience. What the fuck is this shit? I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. Mm hmm? Oh no. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Like this? Um, are you getting used to your new town in school? Is, is it so you get used to this getup because you're gonna inherit the inn in spring? Somewhat, not really. I like it here. Really? No. But it must be difficult <laughs> moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Look at the the fucking Ace Combat dog JPEG tree again. It's in the background. I kind of like them, actually. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... No. She's a real handful. I don't know yet. We're getting along. She's a real handful. I see. 
She's always full of energy. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. You're acting like, like, like a mom or something. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Uh-huh. Our inn can't function without me right now. Yeah, because you're going to inherit it. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. Well, who found Saki's body? The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Wait, wasn't her... Didn't they say that she was poisoned or was that just like a rumor and it's not confirmed? Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight can't be helped. Are you worried about him? I'll be here with you. I can't be helped. You worried about him? Uh-huh. But that's how it goes. He's a detective, so he's really busy. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium-rich. This is going to be like a like a memento location later for sure, right? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Whoa. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Whoa! Who who can live at that speed? Whoa, holy shit. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Hi Excuse me! High school manager. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Yeah, t take a seat over here, reporter. Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. I agree, let's go to the Juness commercial. Oh, I need to do the dishes. You decided to help, uh, help out with the housework. That's good. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. I'm pressing it. Apparently I'm not. Okay, it's, it's Y. Alright, I thought it would be start, but it's Y. Okay, um, skill. Item. Equip. Monkey wrench. Long t-shirt, plain ring, default clothing. Winter Yasso outfit. Winter clothes. Alright, that sounds funny to me. We're, we're just in winter clothes now. Can we put Yosuke in winter clothes too? We can. Alright, we're both winter, winter closing it up. Alright. Persona. Pretty cool persona. Kind of arsony a little bit. Is that a cod piece? Nice. Oh, our damage carries over. Interesting. Quest. Fuck. Nice. Fuck. <sighs> we 
It was a lot faster when there were two people washing the dishes. All right, did we do that already? Or like, like, it looks like we did that already, right? Okay. You really love these quiz shows. All right, are we done? All right, I want to leave. It's raining through the night again. You should go over here and check the TV. Okay, I'm going. All right. Who's going to be on the TV tonight? It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? God, I hope it's Teddy. In other Inaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Oh, oh no! The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Oh shit, it's Yusuke! What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? The image disappeared. And so did your hand. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. I think we should run to Juness right now and go in the TV and save her and not wait till tomorrow. You decide to go to bed for tonight. Alright. Someone's stuck in the TV realm. Alright, time to snooze it up. Time to go to school and finish school and then, then we'll go to fucking Juness. This is... Welcome. Didn't the others die at 1am? Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Okay. I have summoned you. Within your dreams. I like this guy's voice. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. It looks more like the, the Velvet Limo to me. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Margaret's still best girl, by the way. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. Obtain Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this Velvet Room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. Are we going to do some persona fusing? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Remember that time in the Persona 5 playthrough that we fused personas for two hours? That was fun, right? Remember doing that? Can't wait to do that again. You might think that we learned our lesson and we won't do that again. Nope! <laughs> I understand. Very well. I will go along with this. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear okay. to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. And also, it didn't exist conceptually back when 1 AD became a thing. The callback. Special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Now back to the good part. Nice. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. 
was that in Persona 5 too, or...? I thought it, 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 like, gave us different options, but I don't think it was linked to our 1%. Maybe that's just the way that they're wording it. Control one's heart. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. Yeah, there we go, okay. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Think about your game down Yo! Do, 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 do. You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah, the news. Pretty boring. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Well, I mean, if we took Uncle Detective to the, to, to the fucking Juness and then showed him us going in the TV, I think he would believe us real fucking quick, Yosuke. But, you know, it's anime, so let's, let's go along with it. Has to be us. I want to keep my word, too. Let's bring an end to this. You do it. Has to be us. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. All right, now let's go to school and do our fucking lessons, and then we'll go to Juneth. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Oh, so you can do it too now. Okay. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Right. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again... You managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. <gasps> I am thou. Nice. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond that brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening. You recall Igor's words. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your Persona's abilities. I'm okay with this repetition because if I hadn't played Persona 5, I think I would be a little confused right now. So I'm okay with this. Social links. Is this bond with Yosuke what, what Igor was talking about? You have established the Yosuke Hanamura social link of the Magician Arcana. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up and knock down Ali during battle. Like, does he, like, kick him? Your Ali may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet. Do, 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 do. Uh, is this game like Persona 5 in that if, uh, Waffles dies, it's, it's GG? Achie! Yeah? Uh, okay. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Why did they do that? That's kind of weird. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y yukiko san Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. You know, if Yosuke had seen, uh, Yukiko wearing the kimono yesterday, he would have already made the connection. Oh, man. 
What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? For real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. Wrong subtitle. Wow. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Her emails. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. Did she sound kind of evil? I... Like, more evil than usual? Was she like, Chi, I fucking hate you and you're useless, but yes, I will indeed be at school tomorrow? Like, hmm. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! You summed up the information you gained in that other wor world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying... Yukiko was thrown in there? Yeah, she's probably in there right now, like, fighting for her life in the, in the fog. But first, let's do our class. I need to answer some questions to get my knowledge up. And then we'll go to Juness. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Every day is great when your friend is stuck in, Juness. Give her another call. God, I hope she answers. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She, she's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer herself if that's it. True. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Yes. Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Oh no, class is starting. We'll have to wait until after- oh no, Come on, Yukiko! Pick up! Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. What? She was over at the inn. What? She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. What? Yeah. Oh, now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. What? For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. All right, it's not our it's not our friend, our vague friend that's in the TV. Fuck it then. Let's not go in. She was you were all, is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she's growing on me. Sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. It's foreshadowing. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. You explained to Chi in detail again about what happened last night. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. Whoa, what were we talking about? If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Oh, we can't go in because people are browsing TVs. Yeah, no kidding. We can never go into fucking TV land on the weekends. We need. Can we just. Can we buy the TV so we can go in from our home? Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. We need to buy this TV. We, we can't keep going. That's going to happen later, isn't it? We can't keep going to Juness to do this. We need to buy that TV and take it back. All right, time to get a job. All right, job posting. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -ba. All right, we saved enough money. All right, we can buy the TV now. Yeah. Am I fogniferous, chat? Around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Oh, are we just gonna steal it? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. 
I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? A wall? Yeah. This is foolproof. You tried beckoning Teddy over. Something bit you. What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'm gonna die. I'm fine. I'll be I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come <laughs> on. Don't cry. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. <laughs> hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? Because it's a game. No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? So there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. All right, Yukiko, don't go near any TVs. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure, I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Oh, dude, let's watch it together. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. Oh, we're in. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. He's not even asking for chase. He just don't give a fuck. It's just, yeah, to Two bros hanging on a cell phone. Like, this is like, fuck you, Che. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Was it really you, Kiko, who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. All right. What is going on here? Looks like we found all we're going to find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. A Adachi is suspiciously close to fucking Akechi. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. I like Detective Uncle. A bit, a bit of Sojiro vibe a bit. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. That's what I thought too, yeah. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Or what about the guy? And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. Hmm. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. It's due. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Isn't he like some sort of big shot though? Or she some sort of big shot? Like they, they could probably hire someone to do it, right? T take care of this for me? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see what happens. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I guess the damage was done. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Interesting. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. 
The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was hauled up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. Did you also hear that she's gonna inherit the inn? What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> yeah, that... yeah, maybe. Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Like, unlikely. What a possibility. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. The killer is somewhere in Inaba. That's over seven people. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Welcome home! Well... Nanako's Zord in the quiz show. I should leave, you should leave her alone. Push it on TV. All right. Need help doing the dishes? Are we, are we not doing dinner tonight? All right. Nothing catches your eye. No food tonight. All right. You check the midnight channel tonight too. All right. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on the TV? Here we go. Ooh, it's anime. This is important. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. Oh. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is going to be all mine. Well, here I go. All right. Sorry, Margaret. That was definitely Yukiko on the Midnight Channel just now. That was weird. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, we should go to Junas right now, right? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Nah, it sounded pretty normal to me. And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? I don't know, but we should probably wait till Monday to, to, until we hear from Che to see if she was able to walk to her for, with school on Monday morning. And if that doesn't happen, then we should probably call her a couple times. And then if she doesn't answer, then we should go to Juness and go through the TV. Calm down. Try to contact Yukiko. Try to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know her number. Oh, yeah, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow is Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Damn, we're doing it. We should probably go now, shouldn't we? I guess uh, we have to break in. I don't know. This is not a good plan. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. You decided to go to bed early tonight. Wait, tomorrow's Sunday? Do we have school? Does Japan have school on Saturdays? Oh, good morning. Seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? You're up early today. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Aww. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. Aww. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. What the hell? 
Uh, weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Is it a gun? It's a sword. What? Are they replicas? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. <laughs> look at her in the background, like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that guy's got a sword and a fucking tanto or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> She's, oh no. So, which one strikes your fancy? Uh, the katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kinda like this? Or like this? What about this? Honestly, not bad. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Uh oh. Hands where I can see them too. I said now. Oh, rip you, you Kiko. But, but this isn't. Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. Oh man, now this is cyberpunk. You were taken to the police station with Yosuke. Really, we're doing this? We're going to the police station. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Nice nepotism. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. Does Dojima kind of look like the, um... The, the guy in Persona 5 that has the gun shop or whatever. Is he a gun shop right away? I can't remember. I'm trying to remember what he looked like. Maybe it's just the stubble. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. I like to see them side by side to, to, to check. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Yes. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But what? people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. 
The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Civvies? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Yeah, leave us civilians alone and go go give uh, Detective Uncle his coffee. Hey, he's no does coffee. That detective, dad. think that Yukiko-san. There you are. Oh shit. Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently, Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. Pretty sus, yeah. What? I agree with them. They think Yukiko did it? I do, too. <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? I mean, I, I, I think that some of the facts add up. And, you know, someone has to be responsible. Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Mm, I don't know about that, Yosuke. They both seem agitated. They're not thinking clearly. Yukiko is clearly sus. I saw a red vent. Look, we need to save her. Let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you gonna be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Do you? Come on, follow me. I smell a confidant. What in the Zelda is this guy? Here we are. All right. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But why? <laughs> but it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... Oh, going out into the floodplains, eh? Don't remember to take your fucking battle axe just in case you run into something out there. Don't don't leave fucking Inaba without your fucking battle axe, halberd, katana, and helmet. Like. You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Whoa. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that. Oh, all right. <laughs> you really shouldn't do it. Oh, all right. Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Do, 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 hey, do, 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 mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I agree. You received 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Oh, man. Thank you, Yosuke. How'd you get this money? I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? 
You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. That's a good point. I'm surprised that they're addressing that. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, time to buy the biggest battle axe. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Let's have a snack before we head in. Old man Daidara, have you come to see my art? Please look around, take your time. Buy weapon, all right, waffles. Imitation katana. Yosuke, hunting nata. All right, let's get weapons, because that's the most important. Oh man, quite the upgrade, all right. So chain mail, um, how much is that upgrade? 26 to 30, ah, it's, mm, you know, yeah, whatever. Nah, I don't think we need that. Let's look at the accessories. Accessories are headband. Uh, what does the wristwatch do? It doesn't tell us. All right. want something special bring me your own materials and I'll try to use them for you I always like seeing new things and trying new techniques so bring me some rare materials that I've never seen before if you do I can make you some really cool stuff when choosing what to create the number and type of materials varies if you bring me the proper materials I can use them to create some fine pieces of art for you but what I make is up to, is up to me I am the artist here after all I'll be expecting some praise too press I, I did press X yeah I didn't press it hard enough I'm pressing X. I'm pressing it. See? It's not doing shit. It's not telling me what it does. Alright, there we go. Now it's doing it. Is that why? How did I get into this one? Increases endurance, increases strength. Alright, what do we have equipped already? I want to see what we have equipped already. It's not letting me see the, uh, see the wristwatch. Oh, it doesn't have any stats. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I could go up there and it would show me the stats. I didn't realize it was just nothing. I was expecting to have stats. There's a bizarre door before you. It seems the others can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. Human? Is that the one that, that picked up the scrap of paper? But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth 
to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. When you defeat an enemy, Whoa. the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is used, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Are we going to address that there's someone new here or no? Or? Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl. Marie? Margaret and Marie. Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Oh, best girl. The girl seems unfriendly. Just better and better. You feel that you've met her somewhere before. I've met you somewhere before. Huh? Oh. Maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Margaret needs to start her own YouTube channel where she, you know, is a lockpicking lawyer. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. All right, so over time, I hope I can save it soon. I don't know if this is an intro is better than Persona 5's. Persona 5 has a lot of style. Oh, there we can sit it there. Persona 5 has a lot more style, but like it's not fair to compare like the newer game to the older one, um, in in uh, in every respect. Like it's fun to compare it, and you can it can be interesting, but you know, obviously there were advancements in tech and shit. Um, but this seems to be paced a bit better than, than Persona 5's. I can't really remember all that well. I remember Persona 5 multiple times just thinking, can we please get the fuck on with it? And uh, I haven't felt that as much in this one, but maybe I knew what to expect on this one more, and I don't know.
Uh, who's last person I said thank you to? Was it... Uh, Madame Ghost? I think it was Madame Ghost. Or Ben Avid, just in case, thank, thank you again, ben, ben Avid and Madame Ghost, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay Hardwater, for the 2 month resub. Thank you, Shadow Dar, for the 100 bits. Thank you, TFT Master, for the 26 month resub. Thank you, Midsummer29, for the new sub. Welcome, Midsummer. Thank you, Oz Andrew, for the 6 month resub. Thank you, Yopi, for the 15 month resub. Thank you, Cactus13200, for the 5 month resub. Thank you, Popsicle Daydream, for the 37 month resub. Thank you, Raphael Ambrosius Costo, for the 8 month resub. Thank you, Maximum Brandon, for the 24 month resub. Welcome to Tier Club, Maximum Brandon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emmanuel Enns. Emmanuel Enns, I think, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Pappy Mango, for the new sub as well. This is catchy music. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, Saromsky, for the 4 month resub. Thank you, Max Mugs Max, <laughs> for the new sub. Also, uh, Big Bin Bloke, for the new sub as well. Four new subs in a row, actually. Max Mugs Max, Big Bin Bloke, Derek West. And Lelele Gosi, I think. Thank you very much, T4. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kitney, for the 2 month sub. Thank you, uh, Iowakan Ing Tatum. Iwa Channing Tatum. I Iwa? Iowa? One of those. I'm not sure. I'm close to something. Something then Channing Tatum. Thank you very much. There's no capital letters, so it's a little hard to read. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zamio, for the 4 month sub. Thank you, uh, Hamadachi, I think, for the 2 month resub. Thank you, John Parr, for the 11 month resub. Windmill Nation for the new sub. Interesting name. Thank you very much. Welcome, Windmill Nation. Uh, Pink Crimson for the 9 month resub. Zucker Kick for the new sub. Welcome, Zucker Kick. Yar Yar Binks 15 for the 300 bits. Suspiciously like Jar Jar Binks. Wonder if that's intentional. Uh, this Boy B for the 3 month resub. Mulzy for the 3 month resub as well. Bouncy Bob for the 100 bits. Screwy for the 3 month resub. Or C S C Rye. One of those three. And thank you, Chris Delph, for the alumni three sub as well. Thank you very much. Um and oh it's scary, it's square we. Alright, I see. I see. That makes that makes more sense than what I said. Uh anyway, so that's it for me. Uh thank you very much for, for the stream. And uh, we'll be back with Persona 4 tomorrow and uh, the next day and the next day after that. And it's gonna be that for um a year. Now I don't know how long it's gonna take us. I hear this is not as long as uh, Persona 5. Um, and I'm hoping to move through it at a slightly better pace than we did with Persona 5, but I also don't want to rush it. So um, this will be it for the for a few weeks. We might take a break at some point and play some other short game in like in the middle as an intermission. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, and on Saturday we're starting Steins Gate. So if you wanna if you wanna read along Steins Gate with me, uh, that's something that we're gonna be starting on sa Saturday. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a full stream. Maybe it'll only be three hours instead of the full four. Uh, I'll see how I feel when it when we get to it. And uh, like I said. The beginning of the stream um if uh if it turns out that's too much streaming i might drop the, the tuesday stream and we'll do wednesday thursday friday persona 4 and saturday steens gate until we until we're done and that's it so yeah i'll be back tomorrow at uh 1 p.m eastern um and it should be the same day same, same time on saturdays as well yeah i think So pretty good so far. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, I, I definitely feel like Persona 5 uh, has more like visual flair and style, but like I said a second ago, it's not really fair to compare them. And this still has a, a bunch of that, you know. Like you can definitely see the progression in the uh, the menus and everything, you know. Like it's it's still it's still pretty good. It's not as good, but um, it's still clearly there. There's one thing you can't deny about um, most Japanese games is that they have a lot of uh, a lot of style. I like the style of them. Thank you, Crepu Scupuli. Scupuli? One of those. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for, for watching me. Um, like I said at the beginning, I, I don't think this is going to be uh, uh, it, it'll look up to the hype of the Persona 5 playthrough, but hopefully we can have a good time with it. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, the music just cuts off like that. Alright, one I'll tab out. Alright, see you all later. Have a good rest of your night.